Can a speed reading exercise make you a faster reader? Well, Wilcoxon's signed rank test displayed here is a correct test to answer this question. So, in this video, we'll learn how to choose a correct test and what happens if we use a wrong test, why Wilcoxon test is called signed rank, and how to produce and interpret this statistically rich plot using only one simple command. BSDA package provides a speed dataset with four columns on speed reading, namely reading scores before and after the speed reading curves, difference between them, which is actually much more important than the scores themselves, and finally, the signed ranks column, which is the reason our test is called signed ranks. A speed reading curve should make me a faster reader, but how can I measure the progress? Well, I expect the median difference in reading speed after the course to be higher than zero, which is then my alternative hypothesis, while my null hypothesis is that the difference will be equal to zero. And since the difference here is more important than paired samples themselves, we only need to check the normality of the difference, but not of both samples. Checking normality is important for choosing a correct test. Otherwise, we could get completely wrong result. A small p-value of the Shapiro-Wilk normality test indicates that our difference is not normally distributed. That's why we need a non-parametric Wilcoxon test to compare two paired samples. If the difference would have been normally distributed, we would have taken a parametric paired t-test. So let's bring our data in a tidy format by gathering columns before and after beneath each other. For pair tests, the data needs to be sorted, so that the first observations of the before group pairs with the first observations of the after group. If our data is sorted, we are ready to compute the test. And the best way to compute our test is the ggWithinStats function from ggStatsPlot package, which needs only four arguments. Our data d acts as the grouping variable y as the reading scores and the type of statistical approach. Since our data was not normally distributed, we choose a non-parametric test, and GD within stats automatically knows that we need a paired samples non-parametric Wilcoxon signed rank test. This name is killing me. Such simple command results in this statistically rich and publication-ready plot. Now let's interpret the results. This statistics explains why our test is called signed rank. Namely, we first ignore the negative sign and rank our absolute differences from smallest to largest, or from largest to smallest, it doesn't matter. That is where the rank part of the name comes from. We then put positive and negative signs of the difference back to the ranks, producing positive and negative ranks. That is where the signed part of the name comes from and where signed rank name comes together. Summing up only positive ranks will give you the v-statistics you see on the plot. This Wilcoxon statistics was previously used to get a p-value, but nowadays, since p-values are calculated by computers, we can safely ignore it. Our p-value of 0023 shows a moderate evidence against the null hypothesis that median difference is equal to zero, in favor of the alternative hypothesis that median difference is not equal to zero. Particularly, we'll read seven score points faster after the course. But is a difference of seven scores large? P-value cannot tell that. A p-value only tells you that there is a difference, but note how strong this difference is. Fortunately, GD within stats provides a rank by serial correlation coefficient with 95% confidence intervals as the measure of the effect size, which shows you how large the difference is. The interpret rank by serial function from the effect size package helps to interpret this effect size and even provides the reference for interpretation. Our effect size of 0.68 means that speed reading exercise had a very large, positive and significant effect on our speed reading. What happens if I ignore the assumption of normality and conduct a parametric pair t-test? 
Well, I would compare means instead of medians and would get completely opposite result. Namely, speed reading course doesn't help me to read faster, which is just wrong. Here I would have made a type 2 error, or in other words, I would have missed an important discovery. So no Nobel Prize for me. Interestingly, since we just tested our median difference against zero, we actually conducted the one sample Wilcoxon test on that difference. Let me prove it to you. If we compare the results of one sample Wilcoxon test on the difference with the two samples paired Wilcoxon test, we'll get identical V statistics and P values. How cool is that? Thus, our fancy paired samples test is actually one sample test on the difference, where difference is checked against zero. We can of course check our one sample against a different value, for example 6, which you can learn from this video.